That was my question, Grant. At the beginning of the indoor season, after your first meet, when you ran that uh, 735 and 738, you said that well, you were kind of getting the first hurdle down. And I think it was um, uh, Lewis Johnson who said, we can't wait to see what happens when you get a few more of those hurdles down. So where are you right now in figuring out the hurdles in the 110 meter hurdles right now for the um, season? I think I'm in great shape. Um, I think with everything going on um, from the races that I've had from Miramar to Tom Jones Memorial to running in Jacksonville, um, all my times speak volume, all my times, you know, say what they need to say. Um, the main thing is just fine tuning and just getting better each week, getting better each week, getting better. Um, I know Olympic trials isn't going to be easy. I know Olympic games isn't going to be easy. I know Diamond League isn't going to be easy. Um, I know this track meet this weekend isn't going to be easy. But the main thing is, is focus on my lane, my space, and whatever happens, happens. Grant, um, I was talking to Bill Toomey. He's the 1968 Olympic gold medalist in the decathlon. And he told me every time it rained in Santa Barbara, he'd pull the high jump pit out and he'd practice the high jump. And sure enough, in Mexico, when the Olympics happened, not only did they break his poles, but they also, uh, he had a high jump in the rain. Um, I know Eugene, everybody wants to think sun, 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 but there'll be times when we'll have a little bit of rain too. Do you and coach um, pull the hurdles out when it's raining in, uh, in your lovely uh, uh, Florida and um, practice going over the hurdles? Yeah, that, those are the days we get paid. Um, that's the analogy that we always say. <laughs> and those are the days we get paid. Most of the time, most people be like, oh, it's raining. Let's cut practice. Let's just come back out, you know, a little bit later. But me and Coach Holler make it a point. Unless it's just nasty, heavy rain, then, like, we'll, we'll, we'll have, you know, the, the sense of, like, all right, let's go inside so we don't hurt, each, uh, hurt, or hurt myself. But the biggest thing is that's what we always say. It rains. He'll walk upstairs, grab his umbrella. He'll walk back out. And we'll, um, we'll say the analogy, let's get paid. Because, you know, you think – those are the days where, you know, the tough, the tough gets tougher, you know, and um, those are the days where most people are like, all right, I'm not really feeling it. Let me do this. Let me do that. But um, the main thing is, is, you know, when it rains, you know, that's the day that that most people shine. And, you know, when it shines, someone's still going to shine. So my biggest thing is, is I, I practice in the rain. I know what it feels like. I practice in the sun. I know what it feels like. I practice going into a <laughs> practice going into a 2.0 headwind. Don't know why that meet director didn't choose to flip the hurdles, but you know, I know what it feels like. I have I have had the strong wind at my back. I know what it feels like. So I'm in all aspects, in all um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um in all aspects and in, in, in everything that, that can happen, I've trained for it, I'm prepared for it. So um throw anything my way and I'm ready. Thank you, Grant. Cool. So, uh, Grant, did you watch DK Metcalf a week or two ago run that 100 meters? Do I? I don't want to comment on this. <laughs> okay. I, I, did, take... I, did, I did see it. It was very impressive. And I said I was wrong. I said he was going to run like around like 10-5. He ran 10-3. Okay. That's huge. Very, very impressive. I'm glad that he came to the track world. And the biggest thing that he said was, you know, this is different type of speed. So that's also remarkable. So. That's all I have yeah, to say showed, about it. I cannot get into it. No, that's cool. He we'll showed respect. All okay. All right. Then I'll take it a different way. Uh, I'm going to make you the head of uh, uh, NBC for a bit, and you're in charge of TV programming and track and field. Give me one thing you would do to, to upgrade the quality of TV we see so people respect track and field more. Uh, I mean, I think it's, just, it's, it's not just making me, you know, the head honcho. It's just, it's just you're, it's, it's all around. You know, most people just – it's. It's just how it is in the United States. Most people watch American football, basketball. Um, I think track and field is huge when it's um, when it's Olympic time. But then you think you never see swim meets. You never see, you know, you got other things like that. I think it just comes with just the publicity of the sport. I think we're on the right track of um, getting uh, uh, of getting track meets televised. But I think the biggest thing is is just continue just to find ways to. Um, publicize it and, and get track meets broadcast because most people don't know what to watch if they can't if they can't watch it and you know I have never watched a swim meet on, on TV so the biggest thing is is just figuring out you know ways just to get it broadcast thank you Grant appreciate it sure Grant um, uh, at Doha 19 uh, I got to meet your folks and uh, I remember telling you dad how 
much I enjoyed doing an interview with you. And he was so proud. Um, what is your, what do your parents tell you? What do they tell you or talk to you about when you got involved with sports? Um, really just to stay, you know, stay true to who I am. Um, I love my dad. I love my mom very dearly. Um, they're, they're the first ones to let me know if I messed up or if it's like, all right, why did you say that in the interview? That was like, you wasn't thinking. Um, but, um, I really enjoy, you know, I, I enjoy that they are my parents. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. I think right now, um, my dad is, um, really, I'm really starting to see myself transitioning into that, that fatherhood, manhood, um, becoming a man, because like everything I do now, I literally see my dad, like I was a little boy watching him do it. I feel like I'm like having deja vu and I'm doing everything that he did. So, um, I think my dad did an amazing job raising me. Um, my biggest, the biggest flex that I would have to say is whenever like people like you, like yourself, you know, come up to my father and say like, yo, Grant is an amazing person. I think that is like, you know, one of the biggest things and one of my proudest moments. Thank you.